early on when I started my first company, I was very intentional about the, the skill sets of the people that we brought together. It was a little bit like going back to my days of putting your study group together at Harvard Business School, mm -hmm. right? I mean, everyone comes and the first thing you say is, do I have the marketing person? Right. Do I have the finance person? Do I have somebody who knows accounting? Do I have an operations person? And so I kind of did the same thing when I started my first business. Mm -hmm. And if you looked at my kind of initial team, functionally, it was a dream team. But what I realized is that mindsets matter more than skill sets. And you can have the dream team of skill sets, but if your definition of success is different, if your priorities in life at that stage are different, um, if your personal goals are different, then the best skill sets don't matter. Right. And I also realized that unless I'm doing brain surgery, I can probably teach you to do almost anything I need you to do, mm -hmm. but I can't teach you how to think. And I can't teach you how to approach a failure or a challenge in a way that moves the company forward. Once you have this unique group of mindsets, how do you maintain it? Because I, I think what a lot of people do is we intellectually know that a diverse team is, is more valuable and more productive. And so we hire people that think differently, that look differently, mm -hmm. that speak differently, and then without knowing it, we train the diversity right out. Mm -hmm. Because the only diversity mat that matters is the diversity of thought. Mm -hmm. And if you then bring this group of people together and say, well, you have to do it all this way, right. you just got rid of the very diversity that you wanted.